Traffic is beginning to ease up here for those heading southbound on I-35. This was video of what happened at that scene at I-35 in Britain just one hour ago. OHP says there were three cars involved in this, but there were no significant injuries. And also new at 9, a man has been arrested, accused of setting a Dell City police car on fire. The Dell City Fire Department says the arson happened back in September of 2021, but an arrest has now been made in the case. The fire department releasing this picture of the officer's car, which was in the restricted parking area of the station when it caught fire. The suspect faces charges of third degree arson and is currently at the Oklahoma County Detention Center. Developing now a more police officer taken to the hospital overnight after a break in at a business sparked a high speed police chase with two cars. So we know that the officer is expected to be OK, but it was a pretty crazy scene this morning. It all started as a burglary at a grow facility in Moore near Industrial and Broadway. Way. Officers there tried to stop two cars leaving the scene, which led to a crash, and those suspects were taken into custody. But the second suspected car was able to get onto I-35, and more police followed them to Southeast 41st, where the car crashed. Two suspects were taken into custody in that area, and only on five, we're now hearing from the owner of the business where it all began. Uh, now, obviously, we got uh, tons of cost to come out to replace the stuff they broke. Not too uh, real thrilled about it. And the owner says this isn't the first time this kind of thing has happened to his business. Both OKC police and OHP helped with this overnight. Well, happening right now, crews have been working all morning long to try to get power restored back for everyone here. So this is the statewide outage map. Looks like we have about 5,000 here in the state currently. Just checked og &E's. That's about 4,300 people. Um, but crews are out there, mainly in Oklahoma and Canadian counties. og &E is estimating power to be restored about the next hour here. And now let's move on for you to some commitment coverage. Polls are now open for primary and special elections here in Oklahoma. So here's a few things that'll be on your ballot in Enid. Voters deciding on a mayor, David Mason and Jamie Wright Latta are vying for that spot currently held by George Pankinen. And then in Norman, millions of dollars worth of a school bond is up for a vote. Proposition one includes nearly 350 million for capital improvements, instructional materials and technology. Then proposition two is more than $4 million for transportation. In Oklahoma City, multiple wards will choose their next city council representative, including voters in Ward 6. Merrick Cornett is vying for the spot against incumbent Joe Beth Hammond. We spoke yesterday with the state election board, reminding everyone to check your polling place before you head out. As you know, because of redistricting, some of those polling places have changed. And if you haven't voted recently, you definitely want to check that because you do need to vote at your assigned polling place location. Polls open are until 7 tonight, and of course you can count on KOCO to bring you those election night results on air and online at KOCO.com.